What's up guys, I'm Justin Melson and I create all the content on the Happy Fox Productions YouTube channel and today I'm going to be going in depth on how to get the best video quality for YouTube. First you have to decide what frame size your project is going to be in. The most popular resolution for YouTube is 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels in vertical and horizontal resolution. In Sony Vegas, you would just create a new project, click on the settings button, and then create a 1080p template and you're all fine. Or you can drop in a 1080p clip and it'll do it all for you. Before going into the details, let's go over a couple of rendering errors and how and why you'd want to avoid them. First is aspect ratio changes. Having the same aspect ratio throughout your project is pivotal to making sure that it looks professional. In Sony Vegas, there's a maintain aspect ratio button that you can hit, but this will cause cropping to your footage. The second thing to take note of is frame rate convergence. You will want to make sure that all of your footage is the same frame rate unless you plan to slow it down in post-production. Let's say you have a 48 frames per second shot and a 24 frames per second timeline and you're not going to be slowing down your footage by 50%, you will receive what is called ghosting. Ghosting is what is called when frames blend together and try to create a smooth playback when too many frames are present in the current render. Premiere Pro actually will interpolate the footage for you so you don't have to worry too much about it but other softwares such as Sony Vegas, you will have to do this by hand. To solve this in Sony Vegas, you will have to right click on your clip and go to switches, and then click disable resample. Now your footage will play back with no ghosting at all. A very common error, but sometimes the least important error of people's projects is macro blocking. Macro blocking essentially is a pixelation artifact of an area of an image where the renderer and or codec couldn't process that much information, which will result in very blocky footage with less detail. Typically found in very active parts of your shot where you might find trees or water. The way to avoid this is using a very high quality codec such as ProRes or DNxHD, which I talk more about in this video right here, and by having a high enough bitrate. I render to QuickTime H.264, which will give me macro blocking at times, but not that often if I have the bitrate high enough. Next up is a big one. Software crashes. I can't answer how to solve this because every reason your project crashes is for something different, but I can give a few tips on how to prevent it. First what I do is I clean up as much processing power as necessary. I will hit Control alt delete on my keyboard and go to Task Manager, and from here I will end any unnecessary processes running on my machine. Just be sure not to delete any important ones. Then I will try to clean up more RAM, or known as random access memory. I will usually right click on my computer, go to advanced system settings, click on performance settings, click adjust for best performance. This will put your computer in basically Windows 98 mode, which will focus less on appearances and more on the software. Alright guys, I'm just going to jump right into this. Right now we're in Premiere Pro, and I'm just going to go over, in my opinion, the best render settings for YouTube. And I'm not going to go over a whole, a whole bunch of different codecs and everything. I'm just going to make it very simple, very clean, and straightforward. I have a finished video right here. Then you just go to File, Export Media. And it's basically saying there's offline material in here because I don't have my SD card in the computer. And you can just click OK for that. And typically what I do for YouTube compression is I just go to H.264 and click that. And then in the video settings, you can click match source or if you want to do it all by hand. For me, my video was 1080p, 23.976. And if I need to change it, I can just click this little arrow and change it but I do not need to. My field order was progressive. It wasn't upper upper third or, um, I'm sorry, upper first or lower first. So we can just keep that as progressive. Aspect ratio is squared 1.0 and North America NTSC. Profiles main level four to one is good. And if you want the best render quality and you don't want any compression artifacts or anything like that in your footage, then you can just click render at maximum depth, but that will increase your encoding time a lot. I've had renders that take 20 minutes, and then by clicking this button, they've taken three hours, which I'm sure isn't normal, but it, it does make your render time a lot longer. Bitrate encoding, that is CBR, which means constant bitrate, and then VBR1 pass and VBR2 pass means variable bitrate, and one pass essentially means it'll render it once at, vari at variable bitrate, and then VBR2 pass means it's going to render it twice. It's going to do two passes, getting the most optimal video quality. I typically do VBR2 pass and then target bitrate. I like to keep this at about 22 megabytes a second, 23. 
and then maximum bitrate I typically have this at about 28 and this is pushing it pretty high you could even do if you're on a quick budget you could even do 12 megabytes a second and it shouldn't even be that bad and then you can just click use maximum render quality and that should be all fine then in audio I like to do double AC for YouTube double AC audio codec 48,000 kilohertz I mean sorry hertz stereo and obviously you want the highest quality unless you're unless you're cool and you want low quality then you can do low quality and then bitrate 320 is fine even 128 is fine you could barely tell the difference using YouTube compression between 128 and 320 but the file size isn't a big difference right now you can see it's 425 if you go to 128 it only loses about four megabytes so you can just do that um, highest quality just choose where you want to save it and then just hit export okay so here we are in Sony Vegas and essentially what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did in Premiere Pro so I have this shot here it's a 1080p clip with 24 frames per second I just dropped that into my composition and it did all the settings for me and to render it I'll just highlight what I want just highlight the whole thing for this example go to render as and then for YouTube I do main concept AVC slash double HC which is essentially mp4 in QuickTime format and then I already have a template here if you have Sony Vegas 12 or even 11 it should already have a pre-made template here which is basically what you'd want so internet HD 1080p customize template and then here's where you'd want to customize it to your settings so frame rate I did not shoot 29.97 I shot 24 um, progressive so just flat 24 frames per second film Profile, I typically do high, or you could do main. Pixel aspect ratio, 1.0, which is squared. And then if you were shooting in um, 480p, 720 by 480, you would do 1.212, which is basically squared in 1080p. And then here is what we just did in Premiere Pro. You can do your constant bitrate or your variable bitrate. I like to do 20 megabytes per second on average, and then maximum 28 megabytes per second. So... That is that. Audio, 48,000. Bit rate, um, 3,200 kilobytes a second. And everything's all fine. And then you just name where you want to save it and then just hit render. And then you can just go to YouTube and upload your video and you'll be all set and good to go. It's not as complicated as you think. And I hope this video helped you guys understand how to render um, high quality videos for YouTube and I hope this video helped you guys understand how to get over a couple of errors and a couple of compression artifacts and things like that and how to um, overcome those problems. If you guys have any more questions or you'd like to contact me personally feel free to contact me on Twitter or Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter at jmelson or you can follow me on Facebook and I'll have all the links for that in the description. So I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.